Yeah, you know, when Andre the Giant showed up in Montreal in 1971, they got, you know how they got him over? By playing freaking charades. Dude, forget the charades. So it's AJ versus Xavier, and they bring Omos out. Yep. And now he's wearing a mauve shirt because they made a joke last week that his favorite color was mauve. Yes. So here's his seven foot three guy in a pink shirt. And it's just like, it's a shirt. It's like a long sleeve shirt. He's wearing slacks. And he's he's like seven three, but if you take away the seven three part, this guy couldn't look more like a normal guy. Like there's no superstar aura about him in his mauve shirt. It's just this really tall guy in a shirt. I'm yeah. like fuck. But How they, can they, you? But yeah. they made him. They made him to look. They they tried to make him look like a monster when he did that press slam. Oh where yeah, guy, like, in his mauve in shirt. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So they do this fucking charades. I can't take it anymore. We go to AJ versus Xavier. And for like the first five minutes, I cannot get into this match at all. I'm I'm just, I cannot get into it. Actually, I thought this match was was quite good. And then it finally, I finally start getting into it. I'm like, oh, this is not a bad match. And then almost just interferes for the DQ. I'm like, go away. Like someone cancel this show already. Yeah, Dude, well, you can't here, do a segment like charades and then give us a fucking DQ right afterwards. Well, they did. Who's putting this show together? But look, here's the thing: they don't care about DQs and finishes and shit. They Vince doesn't. That's what he thinks TV wrestling is. You just do run-ins and DQs, and and you know that's not going to change. I mean, they could stop doing charades, but these kind of finishes. Now, I thought, you know, like why do it but it's you know it's like he doesn't want to beat either guy he beat the one you know he beat aj last week he doesn't want to beat him again for whatever reason um he didn't so want beat to put xavier I, they're going for their titles i thought he was going to beat xavier i Jesus. figured it i was i was surprised i couldn't i don't have a good explanation as to why you don't let him interfere and let him beat xavier but they wanted to do the dq to do they just did. Um, By the time whatever. we were done with the charades and this fucking finish, I, 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 I do not care about this match. Like, I was intrigued a week ago because, like, all right, almost his first match and AJ's really good and the New Day is really good. They finished this two back-to-back segments right here, and I don't even care. That's impressive. The show killed my interest in every single one of these matches. The show is supposed to make me more interested in the matches. No, I can't say that that happened with me. It didn't. I, you I were mean, I, interested in this match after charades and a DQ bullshit finish. It didn't matter to me. I was. I'm. I'm as not interested as I was last week. I mean, it's like I'm not that interested in almost because the reality is is that I've heard enough reports about almost, and I know that you know that. I mean, maybe look, they've been training him and training him and training him since since then. So since he's been in the ring, so perhaps they've gotten him to a certain point. And and look. They got AJ with him. AJ is one of the best wrestlers in the world, even now. So, um, and the New Day, those guys are good. So, it it will probably be all right. But I mean, as far as I never had great interest in this match to begin with, so I still don't. It's just what it is. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.